was opening up my app. I was going to do some DoorDash. And I was opening up maps and I opened up Instacart and I got this order on Instacart okay so I know it's a good distance away but for science I wanted to figure out what this was this was so weird so I wanted to see what order this actually is It says, I think 12 bags for like $12 and some cents. And the weird thing is that there's no items on this order. And there's even a tip. I'm pretty sure there's a tip. I'll leave it up here. Let's see. But. I had to go see this. I live farther. I live like, I think it was like 20 miles away. But I wanted to definitely see what this order was. So I took it. We are now going to go see what this order actually is. It says one pickup. It says one order, but it has 12 bags on it. We are now headed to Giant in McCollinsburg. We're gonna find out. I will get back to you when we get there. And I will find out exactly what's going on. This does not make sense. Okay, I'm in town now. Getting close to Giant. I'm assuming they pulled these orders and Maybe I got 12 bags of food that I got to deliver. I don't know. I've never seen this. This is so weird. But anyway, I'm going to continue driving. I'm almost there. Okay, a little update. I got there. I clicked on that I'm there. It tells me to go sit in a stall. So I chose my stall number and I sat there and it says call in to call in. So I called in and on my phone, it doesn't say a client. It doesn't say a customer. Okay, so I called and I said, well, I got an order. I'm from Instacart. We don't have any orders from Instacart. Okay, but it says I'm supposed to start shopping okay nothing so I walked in and I grabbed 12 bags plastic bags from the thing and it said did you get your order and or something about order and I said okay start my drive so now I'm on a drive it's supposed to be like three minutes away I'm going to drive to an address. It's, I have to see what's there. I'll come back when I get there. Oh, also it says contact list order. And also it popped up and said, I am not supposed to identify myself as an Instacart driver. I'm supposed to say I am from Giant. And if there's a problem, they're supposed to call Giant, not Instacart. So I'm not supposed to mention that I'm from Instacart, not asked about rating or anything like that. That was one of the things that popped up. After that, I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. This is a contact list. I'll screenshot it, shot it if I can, but it says contact list. And it, it does give me a name, but the name wasn't what Giant said should be getting. So I have nothing but 12 empty bags in the car. So let's see how this works. Hmm. All right. Okay. So last time I 
have to. Uh, I picked up 12 bags of giant. It did have a name. Name was not on their system. And it did have an address. Their address was not on their system. And I picked up just 12 bags and I put them in a vehicle and I drove to the address that it told me to go to, which was about three miles down the road. It was a restaurant, okay? I then stopped at the restaurant. I went into the restaurant to ask, did you guys make an order from Giant? And the lady, which was the owner, there was only three people in the whole restaurant that were working there. And the lady who was the owner, she came up to me and she, I asked her, I said, did you make an order from Giant? Was I supposed to bring an order from Giant? And she said, no, I did not make an order from Giant. I said, okay. So, uh, so you didn't order 12 bags from Giant? No. So, okay. So I then walked outside the door because it said contact list, leave it at the door. So I put down the 12 bags and I took a picture. Uh, the 12 bags leaned up against the wall at the store. Okay. So, after I took the picture, I picked up the 12 bags because I didn't want to litter. I didn't want to leave it there because she said she didn't want it. <laughs> and I got back in the truck and I'm in a place where there's no GPS or no cell service for me. I'm on Verizon. So there was like no cell service in that area. So I drive up the road probably about a minute or two and I finally get service. And I get like three bars of 4G. So when I get there, it comes back online. It evidently takes my picture and everything and uploads it and it says thank you and it switches back to the main screen and now on top of my screen I now have money so I don't know if they're gonna actually pay me or if they're not gonna pay me but I did complete what I was supposed to complete um, okay, so the money showed up on the, the Instacart app, so I'll show a screenshot there, and it's showing that it's there. I guess I'm going to have to wait 24 hours to see if it's actually there and see how it goes, but right now, I'm driving back to my own city because I'm not seeing any, any more Instacart orders from here. So I'm driving back and in 24 hours I will come back on and I will let you know if that worked or what. I, like I said, this is not a cost to, to money ratio thing. I just wanted to see what it was doing because it said pick up and the only thing I can think of is you had to pick up orders from Giant which Giant has that little that pile of uh, stuff and they where they pick orders and they give you the order maybe that was what I was supposed to do I'm supposed to sit at the where they load me up and then I was supposed to take it somewhere. But I checked with Giant. I also checked with the restaurant owner where it told me to send it. And I even confirmed that the address is right. Oh, the name. The, the other thing was the name. The name did not match anybody that was in the restaurant. So, 
I don't know what's going on. So we going, we're gonna let it go. Yeah, I know this is a horrible, horrible video, but because of the, the lighting, I'm like going towards the sun. But <laughs> I'll come back in 24 hours and we'll figure out if uh, if it gave me the money or not. It was just a weird thing. I don't understand why, but let's see how it works.